actually we have uh, four or maybe uh, five uh, methods left in this chapter. Uh, two of these are basically the same. I think in this one video we can maybe finish these three. And these are also uh, useful. I've used them uh, before. Uh, chunks. Uh, we'll start with that. And chunks is, uh, is let's say you have like an iterator of uh, you know stuff here. You know, four, that five, there are five, uh, five items in here. And with, uh, with chunks, you can say, you can do like uh, iter and then you do chunks. And then in here, you put in a number, which is uh, how many items you want to get at a time. So chunks two will give you these two. And then next you'll get these two. And then you will get, uh, get this one. And uh, you'll notice right away that, uh, or you might think, you know, right away, is this going to crash? Because, you know, the last one is uh, is one item and uh, you've written two. So is it going to uh, get mad? And uh, the answer is no. And, uh, you know, it'll just give you what's left. But then it also, um, chunks has to be more than zero. It has to be more than uh, zero items. So if you have like an empty vec, then it's going to crash. And you can see uh, right here, it's in the, uh, in the chunks method it says uh, assert not equal and you have you know chunk size and zero and if uh, you know that chunk size which is the number of items is zero then it's just going to crash or is going to panic rather so make sure that uh, just remember that you need at least one item when you're using chunks and uh, so here is a uh, let's see where is the oh and we'll look at windows at the same time so windows is similar to chunks except for so let's say you have uh let's compare the two so you have uh, iter and then you have windows and windows is like uh if you have actually let's say three we'll say chunks three windows three so three items at a time so if you do that chunks will give you these three and then i'll give you these two and then it's done whereas windows will give you three and then i'll move over one and it'll give you three and then it'll move over again and give you three. Then it'll move over again, try to give you three, it'll give you two, and then it'll move over one more time and it'll give you this. So it's a little window of every every uh, like index in the iterator uh, giving you, uh, you know, the number of items you're asking for. So uh, you can imagine this will be easy to understand. So let's just uh, go through the example. So we're going to have our friendly numvec that we like to use a lot and uh, let's see three four five six seven eight nine and ten so a vec of uh, ten numbers and then we are going to say just do a classic for loop numvec dot chunks and we are going to oops we're not going to do that uh, open brackets and then we will just you know print out what we get so chunk and then same thing we're going to uh, forgot to write in for chunk in and then down here we will say uh, you know, for window in uh, <clears throat> numvec dot windows then we'll do the same thing we'll just copy and paste this in here so there we go window and it's going to, uh, I should comment this out. And you can see it is uh, exactly what we thought. So uh, here are the chunks, one chunk of that, then it goes to the next, to the next. Uh, and then, you know, here it does not, does not crash, just gives one item. And then Windows is going to be a lot more. So you can see if you have like a, a pretty big VEC, Windows is going to take a long time. So if you do like, uh, I know, vec of uh, 10,000 zeros, and then uh, then we just do this, then it's probably, I don't know how long it's going to take. It might even uh, freeze up because it's uh, oh, not better than I thought. So anyway, here is every zero, you know, uh, one index at a time. But you know, eventually uh, it can end up taking quite a long time. So uh, just watch out for that. So we can, uh, let's see, go on to the next one that uh, we have time for in this video, and that is match indices. 
And you right, you might remember the uh, the one we saw before, which is chart indices, and that returned a um, the index and uh, and the chart. And this is you know it returns a tuple. And this is uh, kind of similar except for uh, it matches something you put in. So every time you uh, you have a match inside an iterator, then it's going to give you the thing that you matched and also the index. So uh, this is also best looked at with an example. So I have this uh, this long string here, and I think I'm going to split it up into lines. So let's see, we have some rules. So we have, uh, this is just a stir. And uh, so you can see, there's the word rule. There's the word rule again. There's the word rule again. So we can, uh, you know, if we want to see where, where do these uh, statements show up, we can use match indices to, uh, to say, okay, where, uh, where inside the string are we getting this, uh, you know, these words rule. So you say, uh, let's see, rule, rule, that's not a rule, rule, locations. And then we are going to make rules and then uh, match indices. So this by itself <coughs> creates an iterator, so you don't need to write iter. So it's the same as, uh, you'll remember, chars by itself is an iterator, and uh, char indices is also an iterator. So these ones, you don't need to write uh, iter. So this by itself will do it. And then what are we going to look for? We're going to look for the word rule. And then it's going to give back all the, uh, all the you know, whatever it can find. Uh, it might be something, it might be nothing. And then we'll collect it into a vec. And it's a vec, you know, it's a tuple of, uh, what is it, usize and stir, I think. But we'll just say to rest, um, you know, give us whatever it is uh, that's inside the tuple. Then we don't have to worry about the type, and then we will print them out. And it's called what was it? Rule locations. So it should say, you know, this one should be like index zero. This should be like index, uh, I don't know, twenty-five and fifty, or something like that. So let's see what we get. There it is. So we have uh, zero rule. 29 rule 64 rule so you can see it gives back exactly uh, you know the thing we're searching for and if you change it to like rules with a Z then uh, we're just going to get a uh, empty empty vec it will get nothing and it's not going to crash or anything so don't worry about that so those are the three these three methods chunk chunks windows and match indices and don't forget indices just means indexes so it's like match the uh, the location